Introducing WorldPoint Products Baby Tyler, the CPR mannequin that's reflective of real infants. We know lifesavers like you want realism in your training. That is why we set out to create CPR mannequins that are adaptable to simulate different patient characteristics without breaking the bank. With Baby Tyler, you can easily and affordably add diversity to your training to help champion health equity and save more lives. Baby Tyler's size and movements are ideal for performing correct and realistic infant CPR adapting to all training environments. Baby Tyler's realistic head tilt and chin lift allow you to practice realistic breathing. The high quality airway system consisting of a mouthpiece and a lung bag allows for hygienic training when paired with a CPR pocket mask or a pediatric resuscitator. The mouthpiece can be fully disinfected and reused hundreds of times saving you time and money. To practice with an oral pharyngeal airway, remove the mouthpiece and replace the skin before measuring and inserting the airway. In addition, Baby Tyler may be used to practice back blows and chest compressions for infant choking relief. Weighing less than five pounds, Baby Tyler is ideal for portable and on-the-go training. Get 2020 American Heart Association Guideline Compliant CPR Feedback with WorldPoint Products Baby Tyler. The user-friendly wireless CPR monitor provides a modern training experience with none of the confusion or hassle of using a smartphone or tablet. Get CPR feedback on compression rate, compression depth, and chest recoil in real time, or view training data in a post-training test report available 10 seconds after training. With Baby Tyler, you get one Baby Tyler infant mannequin, one wireless CPR monitor, four lungs, two mouthpieces, two nine volt batteries, one user manual, and a transport bag. Assembling Baby Tyler is easy. First, remove the chest skin and the face skin. Next, move the lung below the jaw and connect the mouthpiece to the lung. And make sure the mouthpiece is correctly attached to the head. Place the lung on the chest and make sure the lung bag lines up with the bottom line of the chest square. Attach the lung bag to the chest using the sticker on the lung bag. Make sure the lung rests loosely on the neck. After, fit the face skin. checking that the nose, mouth, and upper tab are in the correct position. Finally, place the chest skin and attach it to the studs. A quick tip. If the chest stops rising during a practice session, first check the face skin to ensure that it is fit properly. Next, check the lung to see if it is moist. If the lung is moist, replace it with the new one and get back to training. Now your baby Tyler is ready to be paired with the CPR monitor. The CPR monitor offers 2020 AHA guideline compliant infant CPR feedback in standard mode as well as blind mode in addition to a test report given 10 seconds after the practice session has finished. In blind mode, the feedback is not visible during practice. However, the test report will still be visible after the session has been completed. To pair Baby Tyler with the CPR monitor, insert the batteries into the mannequin and the monitor. Switch on the monitor using the power button. 
and compress the torso until you hear a beep sound. And the torso light on the monitor turns green. Baby Tyler is now ready for use. Selecting the training mode is easy. At the bottom of the CPR monitor, there are two symbols, an open eye for standard mode and an eye with a line through it for blind mode. To select the mode, simply tap the button until you get a steady light in your preferred option, standard or blind. Once you have selected your preferred training mode, it's time to get to CPR. Now, let's take a closer look at the CPR monitor. If you view the compression rate light as indicated on the CPR monitor, you can see if your rate is too high, too low, or in the correct range of 100 to 120 beats per minute. Right below the compression rate indicator is the compression depth and chest recoil indicator. This indicator will show if the compression depth and chest release is too deep, too shallow, or the correct depth of 1.5 inches for the proper chest recoil. You can easily view the CPR monitor while performing CPR and adjust based on the real-time CPR feedback you receive. Once you stop CPR, wait 10 seconds and you can view the test report, a score given for compression rate and compression depth. This score will be out of 100% and will indicate the quality of CPR given during the practice session. When you perform CPR using blind mode, you will not see the indicator lights during the practice session but you will see your score out of 100%, given on the test report 10 seconds after the practice session has finished. Additional features on the CPR monitor include battery indicators for the torso and the monitor. Here, it is easy to tell if you need to replace the batteries. Get ready to breathe new life into your CPR training with WorldPoint Products Baby Tyler.